Hey, what's going on, Prophetic Weekly? I love this show every week because when I'm putting it together, I don't even usually realize what is going on with all the words and how similar they are with one another and how they correlate to one another and how they just come in and just mesh together. But as I was looking over this right before I started filming, man, this is good. Today's going to be really good. Uh, I'm a little bit excited. Last night we had a worship prayer night here at Roar Church, Texarkana, and wow. I mean, numerous people were like, we've never been in a service where the presence was as strong as it was. Um, the worship team is like, man, we've just never had a worship experience like this. Just the prophetic was flowing. The prayer was flowing. Just we're praying for people and, and things are happening. Uh, I just love it. Now let's get, I, I get so excited. Um, and hey, it's early Sunday morning and we're about to have round two of Roar Weekend. And it is so good. So excited about this word today because a lot of stuff that happened last night, I'm expecting to happen this morning, lines up with a lot of these prophetic words. Let's go with the first word. This is by Apostle Ron Tolliver. He said, I heard the Lord say, the signs of increase are all around you. The signs of increase are all around you. Now, let's just jump into what I was just talking about. It was so funny because one of the guys on our worship team He's been playing with this for about about five, six years. He said, I have never been a part of a worship service where just the band was flowing with, the, with one another and the spirit with the prophetic people. And, and he said, there's just a increase that was here. Uh, a lot of people last night were talking about how there was an increase happening. And even on social media over the last two weeks, I've seen more people having revival services, awakening services, uh, true prophetic summits. I love when people have worship and prayer. I'm going to something in South Carolina here in a few weeks that's just a, a, a prayer worship prophetic day. We're, we're flying in a bunch of us just to go up there and just have a big um, time with the Lord. It's going to be really good. I'll talk about that more as the, the weeks to, to come. The next one is by Katie Pelton. She, I love this word. She said, March will come in like a lamb and go out like a lion. Now, I'll tell you what I love about that. Oh, yes, our ministry is named Roar, Revival, Outpouring, Awakening, Reformation. But what I love about that is even over the, the first week and a half of, of this month, I really felt something stirring. And then over the last three or four days, something has been just stirring up inside of me. And I am ready for what is coming also, I'm, a, I'm ministering a lot on the weekends in different conferences, churches around America. So when I really start traveling, I really get stirred up. But, but the last few times I've went out, it's been different. It's like there's a, a, a deeper hunger in me. And, and whenever we're, we're ministering and releasing, there's just a deeper anointing. And it's, it's, it's like that all over America. I got friends in ministry that I'm talking to. They're talking about that. Now, when I talk about this, I'm just not going to talk about ministry. I'm going to talk about business. I got some kingdom entrepreneurs. They're out there talking about how their businesses are growing. Right now, and my wife and I in our health coaching business, we're growing at a rate that I couldn't even fathom for the month of, of March. And it's just God's always doing something. And so when you're diligent with what God has called you to, get ready for your breakthrough. Why did Ron Tolliver say? Increase. What is this word? You're going to come in like a lamb, but you're going to go out like a lion. Get ready. What is a lion? He's dominant. You know, and I'm just going to let you know, you, you're going to dominate your field. And, of course, be walking humility when you do it. But I don't care what you do in, in, in the business world. I don't care what geographical location you're in. you got to understand when you're led of the Lord, the Lord puts you there. The Lord is going to anoint you, bless you. You may be at a job where you're the, the bottom person, but let me tell you something. God can anoint you. He can increase you. Um, recently, I was talking to different people in our ministry, and they're talking about how the Lord is just blessing them, bringing increase to, to what they're doing and blessing them on their job. And so, Miss Katie said this, that you're going to come in like a lamb, you're going to go out like a lion. Somebody, somebody needs to hold on to that word because there's a, a something inside of you that God put inside of you. you got to release that. Now, the next one is by Lana Vazer. Actually, Lana Vazer and Doug Addison, I got two words by them each this week. Um, she, she heard the Lord saying this, I'm recommissioning you. And when I read that, I just started laughing. I'll tell you why. 
because I think it was Wednesday of this week, I was in the place of prayer, and as I was praying, I literally felt like the Lord was recommissioning me. And I'm like, God, I feel like I got my, my, my marching orders again. I'm doing the same thing. But I felt the Lord say, I'm about to increase everything that, that you're doing. And, and since then, the Lord has blessed our YouTube. He's blessed our ministries. He's blessed different things. But now here's the thing I've been working you know, whenever you get commissioned in something or get a new job, you work hard. And I, I, I felt a fresh touch from the Lord. And so I have reengaged, and the Lord is really doing some amazing things with that. My wife even was prophesying last night in our prayer and worship service, you know, uh, about something very similar to that, that there was fresh encounters coming, and God was going to push you forward in old assignments and the Lord actually spoke to me about 2021. My word for 2020 was focus, and this was really cool, but in 2021, the Lord spoke to me personally and said, I want you to refocus on the exact same things. You know, some people take uh, take another go at it, take another run at it, but you're not going to do anything new. You're going to do the same thing. Just gather your thoughts and go back at it again. And so I absolutely love that, not creating something, but maintaining what you've been doing. The next one is by Prophetess Cindy Jacobs, and I listen to everything Miss Cindy Jacobs says. She says, your relentlessness will turn into rest and a season of joy. So funny, two weeks ago I preached a message called Relentless, and I spoke about that, and I just said, man, there is going to come joy in this season. There's going to come joy. Even my eight-year-old son, Ezra, Two days ago, he just said, you know, that I just got joy. And uh, in, our, in our Roar Kids ministry, he was talking about a few weeks ago, they were talking about the fruit of the Spirit. And he said, you know, I love all the fruit of the Spirit, but Dad, joy is what's been sticking out to me in my spirit, just joy. And and so you got to understand that this is a season of rest and a season of joy, okay? And let's go back to the first word from Ron Tolliver, Apostle Ron Tolliver. He said that, you know, there's going to be increase in this season. And whenever you see an increase, and you know the increase comes because what you've done in the last season, it is a, it's a season of rest and a season of joy, and I love that. The next one is Lana Vazer again. She said, the vision is bigger than you realize. Dear Lord, dear Lord. That's what God was speaking to me last night in our worship night. And let me tell you what happened. We're sitting there worshiping. I saw very, very, very vivid just vision. And you ever notice like whenever there's like a, a, a pop in the ground and like when a flood comes in and how the water just, just drains down into it, the Lord said, I'm about to pour in at every direction all at once. I got so excited. And so the Lord started speaking to me about a lot of ministries and businesses in America that I'm going to pour in from all different angles all at once because it is your time of growth. It is your time that you've been faithful in the last season. Now you're going to prosper in this season, and it's all for kingdom benefit. Well, let's go to what Cindy Jacobs just said. You know, your relentlessness will turn into rest in a season of joy. When increase comes, that's when the joy comes, okay? So let's. what did Miss Katie say? She said, that you know you're going to walk in one way but come out another way so that's this is really good now we're going to go into one of the words that doug addison had oh yeah it said that god is opening your eyes and ears at a greater degree this is a season eyes and ears now i just released a word yesterday on youtube about eagles the lord spoke to me about eagles that's a whole nother i'm not going to get into it but you know eagles they have great eyesight and they can fly really high and see a long distance. So what you got to understand, eyes and ears, this is the season that God is about to bless people with their spiritual eyes and ears. You're going to, this is how I pray every day. God, let me see through the eyes of Christ and let me hear what the Holy Spirit is doing and saying about every person in every situation, okay? So just want you to understand this is a season that you're going to start seeing and hearing differently, and you're going to start seeing from the Lord and hearing from the Lord, all right? Next one, Agnes Ebony. This is good. This is your mega payback season. And I tell you what I love about that word. Because I was praying about something the other day that God was really, 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 did I say really? Really blessing my wife and I. And, and I just felt like the Lord said, you've been faithful for so long. 
to do what I've asked you to do. Now I'm about to really bless you. And I'm like, yes, Lord. A lot of people, that they want to refuse a blessing. And I'm not going to refuse it. Because, see, the more that I'm blessed, everybody around me is blessed. You get to do things for other people when you're blessed. You get to take care of people that you care about. You, you get to help fund different things. And so be ready. And I'm going to go back to that word Doug Addison had. God is opening your eyes and ears. Get ready because when this payback season comes, there's a lot of things you've worked in, a lot of things that, that you've sown into. And so it's good. And when we, we remember when the Lord blesses you, remember that the vision that God has given you is bigger than you realize. So what does that mean? It's not about you. When God blesses you, it's not about you. It's how you can steward the blessing. The last one, and this explained last night at our worship and prayer night, watch for the presence and power of the Holy Spirit to manifest. Did it ever? And it's going to manifest at a greater degree this morning in the name of Jesus. I'm really stirred up. And hey, let me tell you a story real quick. I was going to, to minister Thursday night, and I was traveling. It's, it's about a two-hour trip. And I was going to stop, stop at a gas station, and there's a Lord said, nope. I, I saw one. I, I Lord said, nope. I drove by. I'm going to stop at a gas station on the way, and I drove by another one and another one and another one. And then I saw one, and the Lord said, pull into that one. So I went in, pulled into that one, got my water, got my mints and stuff. And so I was like, why am I here? And so I was walking out, and I saw a guy in the parking lot. He was a good guy. He was filthy head to toe. He'd been working hard all day. And uh, I felt the Lord say, you just need to go release a word over him. I said, hey, man, how's it going? He looked at me and said, hey, good. What are you doing? I said, man, I'm, I'm going to go preach at a place, but it ain't no good if I'm going to preach to a place if I don't stop and just bless somebody. And he said, man, I... I'll take a blessing. All of a sudden, I felt the Lord show me this guy had a heart of gold. I mean, a heart of gold. And so I just walked up and laid hands right in the middle of the parking lot and just, I don't know, probably in the top five times in my life I've ever prayed for somebody in public, and I felt the presence of God that strong. And it was on this guy. And so we just prayed right there. Let me tell you. The power and presence of God manifested at the convenience store parking lot right by gas pump number three. And it was so good and just the presence was there. And his presence is going to manifest. Every Listen, we're kingdom citizens. Wherever we go, we take control of those areas and those situations. You know how when we, we started off, let me go back up to the front. Remember we started off and... We were talking about, you know, I'm recommissioning you. You know, when they commission somebody, like in the Army, they put them in a geographical location. Some of you, some of you need to realize that you've kind of backed up on your commissioning from the Lord. You need to go re-engage. This is a time that God is going to use people in a great and a mighty and a powerful way. All right, that's Prophetic Weekly. Like I always say, if you want prayer for anything, go to our website, jojodawson.net. Go to the Contact Connect button. Hit it. There's a place for prayer. Send me your prayer request. I would absolutely love to pray for you. I pray for every person. I do not respond back because, well, we get a lot of messages. But I will pray for every single person. I will read your request. And just know this week I will have you covered in prayer. All right, my friends, I hope you all have a super blessed day and see you all next week.